sauce on me. I got drip, flood the wrist. It's homage to the whip. Uh, when I want it, pull up on sight. Pull up. Do that for that check. Do that for that check. Do that for that check. Hey kings and queens, welcome and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Anique and a K. How y'all doing or whatever? How y'all doing or whatever? Ay, 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 ay. Hey kings and queens, welcome and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Anique and a K. Hello all new peoples. If you're new here and you do enjoy the content on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and then leave me a comment down below because your girl is you know appreciative of every comment that is left and all that good jazz so if you saw the title of this video baby you know we are going through my emergency fun to see how much of a rich bitch girl needs to be because the baby okay listen <laughs> outside is not for the birds but they do live out there and they making it wait a minute how they don't pay rent and they uh, they living fine see but you know what we move Anyways, y'all, if you enjoyed this video or you want to see how I came up with my emergency fund budget, then stay tuned for the video and let's get on into it. You feel me? Okay, y'all. So this is an emergency fund um, sheet that I made myself for myself because your girl be out here trying to get her life together. Um, and it basically has all my bills and does extra space. Okay, so. I am going to fill out my emergency fund child and go through everything with you guys because this is how we figure out, you know, where we need to have the big bills and all that good jazz. So, anyways, let me move it over a little bit so we can have some little cutesy in there. Okay, so, <laughs> emergency fund. So, I have my monthly, my three month and my six month um, expenses that I want. I also have um, my goal that, you know, what's the amount that I want to get to? What is the goal for? What's that number? So that's my goal. I also have my current balance, which is my current balance on hand. So how much money I have in the bank. Remainder is how much I need to get to. I'm sorry. You guys ain't even seen it. <laughs> Remainder is how much I need to get to. Um, how much... I need to make up my goal and then percentage is what percentage am I at of my goal so when we go through later you guys will see all that good jazz so anyways this is oh I'm trying to make it straight girl okay so this is my bills so <laughs> as you guys have heard in my last video if you've watched my last video when I counted my 100 envelope I now have a house. I bought a house, so I now pay mortgage. <laughs> Your girl put on her big girl pants, okay? Your girl pays mortgage. So, this is not the total amount that I pay for my mortgage, but this is the amount that I contribute to my um, monthly payments and my escrow just to make sure that, you know, when the new year comes and taxes, baby, that your girl is good overall. So, for me, I estimated that my monthly cost for my mortgage would be $1,400. Y'all, y'all see the jump? Who was here with my, um, when I used to pay $800 on rent? I used to pay $800 for rent, y'all. And now your girl's paying $1,400. That's a $600 increase, baby. Okay? <sighs> Let me tell you. <laughs> they trying to get girl pockets. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because we move. We improve. And we rise. All right? So, next is electricity. Now, I have a two-story home. Child, I didn't know it was going to be this more. I have a lot more space than where I used to live. And I didn't use to pay um, any utilities where I used to live because I was only renting a room. But now your girl's paying for electricity for a house. And my estimate right now is $95 per month. Um, I think this month was my first month of getting, like, my actual bills themselves. So this is why, like... I'm kind of overestimating how much I have to pay because I have a good idea, but I don't know for a fact on some of my bills. So I'm kind of overestimating. So child, we will be covered, okay? Water is one of them. So my builders just transferred or just passed their inspection or whatever for water. So now I need to go and transfer the water utility into my name. So I've never paid a water bill, guys, and I don't know how much this is going to be. But, I mean... Shining twice a day, you know, brushing my teeth, washing my face, you know, cooking. I don't think it's going to be more than $60. I mean, how much water would a girl be using? You know? But 
that is how much I estimate for my water bill because it's just me, myself, and I. And I paid about this much as a single person for water, so I don't expect it to, you know, really change that much. I did buy internet straight out the gate, y'all, as soon as I moved. As soon as I moved into my house, I got internet because who's playing these games? Nobody. And that was $81.24. That is my monthly bill for my internet. Next is car payment. This little baby is not changing. See, she is still $465 because $465. $465.65. I always get that mixed up. But $460 $460.65. That will not be changing until she gets done paying this damn car off. But you know, like I say, we move. <laughs> Next is car insurance. Y'all. $141.06 is my car insurance. And I have to figure out how the hell to bring this down because there's no way I need to pay $141.06 for car insurance. I feel like that is way too high compared to what I used to pay before. And I'm older than 26 and a girl ain't been in an accident? Oh, hell no. So I'm gonna, um, once this car insurance expires, I'm going to see if I can find another insurance company and try to lower this because, baby, it don't make no sense. And... If you guys know how to lower, if you guys have a car insurance company or you guys know how to lower your car insurance, let me know down in the comments because I'm really trying to get these bills under control, you know? And whatever we can get the discounts, let's get the discounts, okay? Next is my homeowners association, which is my HOA, and that amount is $44.80. Y'all, I didn't even want a house with an HOA, but like where I'm living, where I'm at, like the district and everything, it's a new build, like they gonna have an HOA because that's just how it is. But I really like my house, <laughs> so I can't really complain that they have an HOA, you feel me? Um, I didn't want the extra bill, but you know, we move, we improve, these are our goals, we accomplished a goal. Y'all, I bought a house at 26. <laughs> Y'all, I bought a house at 26. Me, myself, and I bought a house at 26. And fun fact, my aunt also bought a house at 26. And so my mom and my aunt are kind of like my goal person. And so this was never in the plans for me to buy a house at 26. But my aunt did it. And I always knew I was going to buy a house. My mom also, my mom and my dad also bought a house. But like, y'all. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really proud of myself and really amazed. And I'm like, girl, you're doing it, you know? You're doing it. So even though these bills are increasing and this house comes with a lot of um, more responsibility, I'm really excited and proud of myself for actually achieving this goal because not many people can do it, you know? Like, especially in the economy and everything that's going on, not many people have this opportunity to do it. So I'm really proud and happy. And, you know, the bills... You know, I'm getting used to them. I'm not going to say I'm happy about them because who's happy about paying more money? Nobody. <laughs> so I'm getting used to the bills, but I'm really proud of this investment that I'm making and making into my future. So, yeah, guys. Okay, spiel done. Um, <laughs> Next is ADT, which is my security system. If you buy an investment, make sure you protect it. And so monthly, I pay $49.21. Next is Apple Music. Apple Music, she's been here forever. She is $14.99 because I have the family plan. Um, next is my phone bill, and my phone bill is $44.66. That does not change. My phone is paid off, so only thing I pay for is service. Um, and that's with Verizon on the family plan. Next is groceries. So groceries is what I would put, you know, as an estimate. And so for me, I estimate for each month, I'm going to do groceries of $250. Now, normally, I would put groceries as $200. That's what I spend on groceries. But I gave myself a little wiggle room, the $250, just because, you know? So, yeah. Gas. For gas, I have a $100 a month. That's about what I spend monthly for gas, especially now that I've moved closer to base. I spend about this amount, you know, um, on gas for the month. So it's not too bad. My allowance, I am also giving myself $250 for allowance. Um, normally, I would give myself $200. That was previous things to give myself $200. Um, now, I've lowered it to, I believe, $100 per month. However... Um, 
this allowance covers a lot of other things so it would cover like my toiletries things for the house my spending money you know things like that it would also cover that so this allowance is covering a whole lot because i didn't want to put all of those individually on here we're just going to have a you know area where we do pay for you know the extra things that we need so that is why my allowance is 250 dollars um the next thing is merrick um if you are new here to my channel merrick is my father that's in jamaica um, when I said my father earlier, I mean my stepdad, but I don't call my stepdad my stepdad, I call him daddy, okay? <laughs> He's daddy. So, um, my father that's in Jamaica, Merrick, he currently can't work still. Um, he's still suffering from his injuries or whatever that happened back in 2020 during, you know, Little Miss Child area. And so, I still send in money to help him with his, um, groceries and living and stuff like that. And that is about $200 a month. And then I also have next is pest control, which that is $45. This is also a new expense that happened this month. So obviously, like I said, I want to protect my investment. Same thing with my ADT. It's the same thing with my pest control. Um, it's protecting the investment. So I have pest control that comes out every three months. And um, spray for bugs and all that just to make sure the house is you know still in good condition um alleviate like um, termites or little bugs and stuff that's in the house so that's what that is now there is one additional expense that I believe in my um when I was going through my credit card that video if you guys don't see it I'll put it up somewhere so you guys can go ahead and watch that I found this expense and it was the expense um let me put that let me do it in a different color the expense was apple care so with this good little baby right here my um ipad i started paying for apple care and that is in the amount of seven dollars and 99 cents and i just recently remembered this and so that is um why I have that additional expense and I'm not going to take it off honestly it's Apple Care you know if anything's broken needs to be fixed and I just take it to them and they fix it so $7.99 a month I'm gonna pay it but anyways y'all this is all of my bills that um, I would have to pay for in the month you know feeding myself <laughs> um, taking care of regular expenses you know car payment home um, things internet groceries bill you know entertainment like these are all of my things that I would pay for and I would gladly pay for and just put it out there to sustain my living okay none of these is something that is a um, non necessity because all of this protects everything that I own and so that's how I look at it um I'm gonna need all of my utilities my mortgage to live in my home you know my car I'm gonna have to pay that until I own it until I get my title which you know God willing we get that real soon I also have to pay to protect my investments those are my HOA my ADT and my pest control you know, Apple Music is entertainment. During this time, if you are out of a job or something, you're going to have to have some sort of entertainment. You can't, you know, go crazy, basically. And that's not what we want. Mental health is important. And so music, for me, is just one of those things. So I'm not going to take that off. Then, of course, I need my personal ex living expenses. I need to have a phone to, you know, because everyone works with a phone now. It's just how it goes. I need to eat. I need gas in my car because I need to be able to move and still do things. And if you need gas for your car, you probably need to go to interviews and stuff. So you're going to need that. So I'm not going to take it off. Then my dad, um, he can't help himself and I'm not going to let him be out there starving. It's just not, it's just not going to happen, you know. So... This is all of the things if I'm out of a job that I'll still need to pay for and that I'm still willing to pay for to live a comfortable life during that transition period or during that period when I need, um, when I'm not able to get a normal income regularly. So that is how you will calculate your emergency expenses. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add up all of the amounts here and then we are gonna confirm how much um, is our 
monthly total bills y'all this is my first time also <laughs> like i recorded this video before but some of the amounts have changed and increased and stuff so this is gonna be my first time actually seeing how much this is i think it's gonna be like to my um a month of payments i honestly think like all my bills equal to one month of payment for me but we're gonna add it up still and so you guys can see it in real time just like i do Okay, y'all, so my total for my monthly expenses comes out to 3,000, ooh, go there, okay, <laughs> it comes out to $3,184.50. So that is the total amount that I would pay monthly, that I am paying monthly for all my bills and expenses and so forth and so um this is what you know i would need to pay for so just like how i added up mine you guys can add up yours and you guys can figure out how much you would need to pay for your monthly expenses okay so later on i will fill in three months and i will also fill in six months probably at the end of the video i will show you guys that but we're already at like 20 minutes or so I feel like so let's go through the rest which is down at the bottom which is my goal current balance remaining and percentage so all of this right now is basically what I um have as a goal and what my bank account is saying <laughs> what my bank account is saying and what your girl actually can do you feel me so let me go on let me actually go into my account and see how much my emergency fund is so with my total, let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Okay, so with my total, make sure this is straight. With my total being three thousand one hundred and eighty-four dollars and fifty cents, I'm an even girl kind of. I'm an even number type of girl. So my goal is not necessarily going to be my monthly goal. My goal is going to be thirty-two hundred. I just like even numbers. So actually, let me go in a different color. Let's go back to, let's do blue. Okay, so my goal um, is 3,200. That is my goal of what I want to save, right? So now, what I have in my bank account is the total of, let me change that color. Another light green. Let's go to better. What I have in my current balance right now is two thousand eight hundred and three dollars and twenty three cents. That is my total that I currently have in the bank account. Two thousand eight hundred and three dollars and twenty three cents. Actually, Ooh. two thousand. $2,803.23, okay? And so now we're going to calculate how much of a difference that is from my 3,200. So my 3,200 uh, minus this $2,803.23 equals to $396.77 remaining. So, I have, need $396.77. And so, right now, I am at a total of 87.6%. That is how much I am at towards my goal currently. So, yeah, guys, that's how I basically created this emergency fund Um sheet and how I basically use it. I fill out my monthly totals 
I fill out all my monthly totals um, over here, my total amount right here, and then I set a goal for myself. Of this, my goal is 3200 and that's a little bit over the monthly. Okay, give you a little wiggle room just in case for things, you know? Then current balance, I have $2,803.23 in my bank account, so that is how much, if there is an emergency, I can survive for a month. Um, but not fully because I'm only at $2,803. I still need my $396.77 remainder to make sure that I can eat and everything else. So of my goal, I'm at 87.6%. Okay, so that is how I'm using this emergency fund um, sheet that I created to do all of that. Also, I created this little um, chair. Oh, dang it. So this is, so I, like I said in the beginning, I did do this before and this is the same sheet. Um, this one, oh, it was a little higher, was it? 3200, oh, this one is 3213, so it was a little higher. I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach growling, but your girl was hungry. <laughs> but that one was a little higher. And, um, my goal for the month is actually 3200 right 3200 yes 3200 is my goal so uh what is it i said i'm at 87.6 percent so the highlighter 87.6 is about here Okay, y'all, so this is about 87%, right? Yeah, 87%. This is about 87% of my goal right now completed. And so this is for this one. And then um, once I, again, fill out everything else and have a new goal down here, then it will be all cool, okay? So anyways, y'all, that is my emergency fund and everything. I know why I put that over there. Let's do that. Zoom it in. <laughs> let's zoom out y'all I'm getting used to this new camera that I bought but it's all good so anyways y'all that is my emergency fun I'm gonna close this because the lighting is just gonna yeah so you guys can see the, the light <laughs> I'm back <laughs> anyways y'all so that is my emergency fund that is how I calculate mine like I said I went through my credit card statement see what I'm paying for and then I also you know went ahead and um, wrote everything down of what my monthly bills are, what I can live with without, as you guys can see, you know, and all my expenses. And then I calculated them, added them together, made a goal for myself, and then now I'm striving to achieve that goal. So that's how you basically do your emergency fund. If you have any questions, y'all, leave it down in the comments down below and I will definitely get back and answer you um, to let you know, you know. I'm starting over my journey so <laughs> it's all good this is all learning for me like I mean it really is it's, it's all learning for me over again because even though you may be an expert in something sometimes you might lose your weight which is what I have done and so now I am relearning how to do this because honestly I'm not gonna lie I got a little bored with, with um budgeting I got a little bored with budgeting and I got a little frustrated with it then because you know everything changed for me so yeah it's an adjustment but and now it's an, another adjustment because again things have changed for me so yeah but anyways guys thank you so much for watching I hope this video helped you I hope it guides you to figuring out your emergency funds and all you would need for it you know now that this is completed your girl has another video which is to figure out where she's gonna put this extra coins from counting the 100 envelope how i'm gonna break it up so i will definitely be showing you guys that um soon i guess because i have to put this money in the bank get it out of my house ain't gonna lie to you i don't want it in my house i want it in the bank account so it can be you know safe in there uh because you know, what is it, the FDIC? If they mess with your money, they at least give you 250K back. Baby, I'll take it. So anyways, I think it's FDIC, don't quote me. But um, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Anique and a K. Don't forget to um, share this video with a family, friend, or a foe, because even your enemies 
any means need blessings um thumbs up if you liked and then leave a comment let me know what are your goals for your emergency fund how did you calculate yours obviously like i showed you you know i had to have some of these um bills in here and things i would not let go because they're important to me and like How's your budgeting journey been going? That's what I really want to know. Because I really want to be inspired, guys. Because like I said, budgeting got boring for me for a minute. And, um, yeah. I wasn't inspired. <laughs> I was inspired, just telling the truth. So, right now, I am relearning, re trying to get back into it. And, you know, finding out that, hey, this really does help. So, it's it's sometimes it's meticulous. And for some of us that are not like that, it can be frustrating. Especially with giving yourself limits and stuff. So, yeah. Help me, guys. Leave in the comments how do you get through your budgeting, you know, hiccups or phases or things like that. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Nika Nikkei, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hey, how you wanna do it? How you wanna get it? I'm out there, huh? Out of my mind. Can't even talk. Can't even walk. That little thing.